Charterman, 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 Fishy, fishy, fish. Hey, what's up, you guys? Short Miss Prime here doing another custom action figure review on the Marvel Legends. Well, technically not Marvel Legends, but we have married man and wife, and we have an extra accessory of the Odin the Allfather right over here. I gotta give a big thanks to Billy Bahoney for making these customs. Uh, sent him a few bucks to make these customs for our wedding toppers. Uh, we just got married last week, and I really, really like these things a lot. Uh, this was done with very, very short notice. Uh, I first contacted him a month ahead of time, and then didn't really give him any images or anything like just till like weeks and days beforehand. So it was a very rushed job, and I think he did fantastic work on these. Uh, I especially like the married man figure, though. This is actually the prize figure for me and it looks very much like me but let's first take a close look at the accessories wing, wing, wing. oh yes we have Odin the Allfather right here uh, my deceased guinea pig and I thought this was adorable that it actually made me very very happy but at the same time I was quite sad seeing this because I was like oh man poor Allfather it's not totally out of scale it's just a huge guinea pig I think it is for one total scale but it doesn't matter I'm still very happy to have it and it looks like he may have sculpted extra lines here to make him look hairier because the Allfather was a very, very hairy guinea pig. He had very, very long hair. He was a Peruvian guinea pig. Stoked that he sent this. That's actually a very, very heartfelt gesture. Thank you so much, man. And here's Wife, which is a pretty cool looking figure. It looks like he used the Carrie figure from NECA uh, for the base body. I really like how the paint came out and the hair on this one. Uh, there's this little strand of hair right there on her cheek, which uh, I'm not really a big fan of. It looks, I don't know, it looks a little weird, but I do like this piece that's coming across over here at the top. I think the paint choice he used for her flesh tone is pretty cool. I like the bazungas. That looks pretty nice. Uh, one thing I do need to mention, though, is that uh, the the people at the hall that we had rented had just knocked over the wedding toppers, so they're, like, smothered in cake and stuff. Charlita One saw that they had just swiped them across, like they thought they were garbage or something. So cake got all over them, and I had to wash the cake off, so it kind of ruined the paint on these a little bit, which is a huge bummer. Like, on the breasts, there's, like, a a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like a scuffage going on right over there, and that was not there before the wedding, so that's, yeah, it bums me out. The, these may need to get touched up a little bit later on, but I really like how the hair, hair the, but I really like how the hair came out on this, and I think this dress is actually painted very well. I think he had to repaint the entire thing. So now it's a very nice, solid white color, and then he got the shoes down pretty well, too. You can see those Shirley, ooh, yeah, Shirley one toes. Yeah, well, okay, getting a little too personal, but yeah, I really like how he gave these wrinkles right here under the breast, too, so it looks like they're actually sinking into the dress, you know, so it fits along with the rest of it. Pretty cool figure. She's not very articulated, which was explained to me early on, so I don't really have a problem with that, but uh, her hair, her head moves side to side. She can't really look up too much, but she can look down and then her shoulders move outward. Gotta be careful because he said be careful with the paint rub on the shoulders. They move forward, they bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, and then the wrists move side to side. Uh, this wrist actually popped off on me because, you know, the neck joints, they, but I just glued it right back on there and the elbow joint still turns side to side. Uh, one thing too is I really like that you got the detail with the fingernails on here and it gave her a big old fat ring. Like. Here's a close look at Married Man over here and I really think this looks like me. Uh, my biggest gripe with this figure is the facial expression. I don't know which figure he had used. It looks like this is a wrestling figure. Again, with the paint coming off a bit, that's just from the people at the hall just tossing these things around like they're garbage, which, oh my god! Uh, I did not pay garbage prices for these things, and Billy did not put garbage work into these, and they, oh, that pissed me off so much. But anyway, uh, I think the hair came out really, really nice. I kind of wish he'd given me my widow's peak, but not a big deal. That's a very minor detail over there. And it looks like I'm a little upset about getting married. But when I see this, I do see myself. I, this very much does look like uh, my own face and I'm very very happy with it. He got the right colors and everything. I think the skin tone is very very accurate. I like how he got the pocket square nice and wrinkled in there. The tie looks really nice. Uh, this purple theme is basically a combination of me and Charlita One's favorite colors. Mine being blue and hers being pink, so it made this uh, plum purplish kind of color going on. That was the theme for the wedding. I really like how the jacket over here is, that, or the tuxedo suit, is actually very pliable. So it's made out of a very bendy material, so it doesn't really hinder the articulation, which I think is dope. I mean, I don't know what figure this is based off of. I'm assuming Vince McMahon. I don't really know. But yeah, it made me really, really buffed, which is great. I don't mind that at all, but I'm not a small guy. 
guy either, so I think that works out. He sculpted and painted on a very nice ring over here, so I think that looks great. And I think the color, you know, again, is very, very well done on this figure. And then, yeah, then the rest of it looks like there wasn't that much stuff done to it. Oh, and he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet as well as the wife. And to avoid the figures getting covered in cake, Billy gave us two of these stands. Married Man has some great articulation. Uh, his head can move up quite a bit, which I'm very happy with, and it does move down. Uh, you get a little bit of neck pivot, and it does rotate side to side. This is very, very cool, and the paint is holding up very nicely. Uh, he has shoulders that move outward. You can rotate them forward. He has a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist moves side to side. They hinge up and down. He doesn't have an ab crunch, but he does have waist swivel over here. He has a gaping DCUC crotch pits. He can kick forward that high. I can actually get this to bend, so it's kicking up very high over here. He has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankles move down, up, and he does have ankle pivot. Yes, that's very important for me. My own action figure has to have ankle pivot, man, or else what the hell. Yeah, I had to get Shardimus Prime in that Shardimus Prime pose. So here's the figure standing side by side, and Married Man stands just under seven inches tall, and Wife is just a little over six inches tall. Uh, you know, the figures aren't really to scale with each other. The lovely Charlita one is actually only five foot, so she's a very short woman. Uh, I'm about 5'10", 5'11", so I guess this is pretty accurate right over here, but yeah, she could have been a little bit shorter, but still at the same time, how many female body molds have a dress like that? And here's our married man, Shardimus Prime, compared to the actual Transformer Shardimus Prime Creo. So these are the only two Shardimus Prime figure customs out there at the moment. So it's kind of neat seeing these side by side, right? I don't know, can't wait to get my MP10 made. Ooh. Now here's married man compared to a couple other suited figures that have often been used for customs similar to this. We have the Harvey Dent from the DCUC Movie Master line, and we also have the Marvel Legends Professor X over here. So yeah, you can see married man's much taller than both of these figures, so he's a little out of scale with Marvel Legends, but to be honest with you, that doesn't really bother me at all. And of course, here's Married Man compared to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. I really love these wedding toppers, man. They were a big hit at the wedding. People were cracking up and like, oh my god, I can't believe you have toys of yourselves on the cake. People really got a big kick out of it, and I thank you again, Billy Mahoney. Thanks so much. Please, show some love towards Billy Mahoney and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link is in the description below. And I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Ooh, yeah, loving those wifey toes. Mm -mm -mm.